Hey, East View kids, I'm really glad you're here today. Today, we're gonna to talk about Jesus and the 12 disciples. Before we share our Bible story, let's lift our voices and sing this song to him. When Jesus was on earth, he asked 12 men to follow him. He chose these 12 men to be close to him. They are called the 12 disciples. Jesus said, come and follow me. Let's hear more about that. Welcome back. It's the last day in our road trip series. Aw, our last day already? I can't believe it. We sure have come a long way. On our trip, we've learned all about who Jesus is. First, we learned that Jesus is the promise. He is the one that prophets from the Old Testament told about way before Jesus was even born. Then we learned that Jesus is God's son, which means he comes from God. Jesus is divine like God and has authority like God. We also learn that Jesus is our example. He shows us how to trust God and his ways and how to fight temptation. And last week, we learned that Jesus can do miracles. He turned water into wine and showed the power of God. Wow, we've covered a lot of ground on our trip. And there's more to go. Hop in. Buckle up. On the road this week, we'll be learning that Jesus is our leader. You can find this true story in the New Testament books of Matthew, Mark, and John. Let's go! Jesus had a group of 12 guys that traveled with him for three years during his ministry. Those 12 guys were called his disciples. A disciple means a follower or learner. We are disciples of Jesus because we follow what he says. But the disciples we are learning about today are a special group of guys that Jesus invited to be close with him while he was on the earth. Now these disciples weren't just anybody. They were handpicked by Jesus himself. One day, Jesus was walking along the Sea of Galilee and found two brothers fishing, Andrew and Peter. He said, 
Come, follow me. I will send you out to fish for people. They dropped their nets and followed him. Jesus also called out to two other brothers, James and John, who were fishing with their father. They left their father in the boat and followed Jesus. Later, Jesus saw a man named Matthew sitting at a tax collector's booth. Tax collectors were known to cheat people and take their money for themselves. No one really liked them. But when Jesus saw Matthew, he said, come, follow me. And that is exactly what Matthew did. He just got up and went. Now these men had heard of Jesus before and possibly even heard him preach. They followed Jesus, not because he commanded them to, but because they chose to follow him. Here are the names of all 12 disciples. Andrew, Peter, James, John, Bartholomew, Philip, Simon, Thaddeus, Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus, a tax collector named Matthew, and Judas, the one that betrayed Jesus. One more thing. I want you to know these guys were not perfect, but they were willing to follow Jesus wherever he went and learn whatever he was teaching. They decided that Jesus was their leader. Today's big idea, Jesus is our leader. Hold on now, you better fill her up before you leave. I'll fill up the tank if you can answer the questions correctly. How many disciples did Jesus have? Six or 12? Jesus had 12 disciples. Jesus told Andrew and Peter that he would make them fishers of food or people. Jesus said he would make them fishers of people. A disciple is a follower or a leader. A disciple is a follower. We are disciples of Jesus because we follow him. Jesus said, come see me or come follow me. Jesus said, come follow me. You got it. You're all filled up and ready to go. Whoa, we've got some construction work down the road, so make sure you slow down and pay attention to the road signs. Here's what's up ahead. Listen and follow along for today's memory verse. I'll say the whole verse, then we'll say it all together. John 3, 16 to 17. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. God did not send his son into the world to judge the world. He sent his son to save the world through him. Say it with me. John 3, 16 to 17. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. Anyone who believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. God did not send his son into the world to judge the world. He sent his son to save the world through him. Nice job. Have a safe trip. Hey kids, it's time for a little pit stop. In today's story, we learned how Jesus called his 12 disciples to follow him. They were all busy doing their own thing when Jesus called to them yet they dropped whatever they were doing to follow him. Jesus calls us to follow him too. When we decide to follow Jesus, we don't know for sure how our lives will be changed. Because the 12 disciples were regular people like you and me, we begin to see that anybody can follow Jesus. It's not about trying really hard or depending on ourselves. It's about depending on God. The important thing is to allow him to be the leader of your life. We made it! Home sweet home in Bloomington Normal, Illinois. Welcome to Eastview Christian Church. Here, we believe in following Jesus wherever He leads. In 2018, God made a way for us to open a location in Bloomington. Check it out! Eastview Kids has their own space there, too, where they meet every Sunday to worship, play, and learn the big idea. Eastview is committed to loving others and our community. During the week, there's an after-school program, adult small groups, youth mentoring programs, and a food pantry. 
I love this movie. Yeah, it's the best. Oh, here's my favorite part. Oh, let, let it go. Let, let it go. go. Can't hold it back anymore. It's right here. Already? We just got in the van. Wow, the disciples just stopped what they were doing and got up to follow Jesus. Some of them were in the middle of fishing and some of them were tax collectors and were not well liked. But they still got up and followed Jesus. They followed Jesus not because he commanded them to, but because they wanted to follow him. Jesus is our leader. Now, I'm gonna leave you with some questions, press pause, and talk about it with your family. We'll see you soon.